don't take a shower with other men. They ask themselves, Hmm, Habibi, Habibi, Moshe, why you are hiding yourself, Habibi? Huh, Habibi? Why you take a shower behind the wall, Habibi, behind the curtain? Can you explain to us, Habibi, why Moshe you are doing that, Habibi? Moshe, he's still doing that. He take a shower behind the curtain. Allah, he heard what the Jews are saying about Moshe, specifically about his penis and his testicles. May Allah bless them and keep them big and nice and round. I mean, his penis is not round, his testicles. So Allah decide to practice what he do best. What is that? Thief. Thief. He hire one of his rocks. I mean, everything worship Allah. The rocks, they pray and bow down and, you know. So he hired one rock. The rock, she went and she stood next to the place where Moses, he take a bath usually. So normally, you know, people, what they do, you want to take a bath and the floor is muddy, wet. You put your clothes in the rock. I do that all the time. All the time, brother. So I put my Musa's, he put his clothes there. He put his credit card, his phone, I mean everything. And now he is naked because there's nobody. He don't take it naked if there's anyone around him. He's very shy. He jump in the water. The second he jump in the water, brother, the stone start running. Brother, those things happen all the time. At that time, stone they used to steal a cloth. How we can understand this conclusion? As you notice, Moses, when the stone she took his clothing, he did not get surprised. He did not even say like, wow, stone is running? It was like, oh, okay, stone is running. Now, this is normal, you know, it's happening every day. He did not feel for a second there is a mystery behind this. It was a very normal behavior. In the time of Moshe, stones used always to steal clothing. Very well known stories. The stone took the clothes. And she ran. Moses, he was putting shampoo. But still he was able to see the stone taking the clothes and moving slowly, sneaking out, opening the door slowly. When he saw the stone, he did not move automatically. He said, let me sneak on her. But the stone starts running. And the stone is so fast. Extremely fast. I mean, how in the world you can even chase a stone is running? They are round, which means they will run like a ball. I don't know if they have legs. The stone who took the clothing of Moses, she ran and Moses start chasing the stone. If you read with me here, it says, Moses run after it, saying, Oh stone! Oh, my clothes! Oh, stone! My clothes is stone! Benu Israel, which means children of Israel, then they had a chance to see the private parts of Moses. In Muslims, what do you mean private parts? 
what you are implying here. He have many private parts. Private parts? What? You know what? I don't, do you think most of you have two penises, maybe? And four balls? Hmm? Private part? Or parts? So Musa now is running after the stone and he is wet, remember that. And his penis is dripping water. He stood in front of the stone and his penis is dripping water. Because remember, he did not use any towel or anything. So he was screaming, stone, stop the stone, stone. And the stone stopped. And his penis dripping water. Subhanallah. And then Musa's, when the stone stopped, some coins fell down from the pocket of the stone. Because Musa's now he need to prove that the stone is the one who stole his clothing. He said, see, you see, she took my clothing. And Moses, he did not notice that all the Jews now looking at his penis. I mean, come on, put yourself in his, I cannot say shoes because now he's naked. I mean, come on, you don't have shoes. But you, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, so the people, they were looking like, what the heck? When this guy is naked walking in the street. Why his penis is moving left or right? You know, I, I wish there's a camera at that time. I mean, Moses will be so, so, so famous. Hmm? Uh, look what uh, Potanki says. Christian Prince, this is like talk about the balls and the penis so much. My friend, this is a question you should say to your prophet because I'm reading your prophet words. It's not me. If your prophet did not keep talking about penises and bulls, I will not be talking about it. I'm just reading what your prophet said. You forgot? You are insulting your prophet, my friend. Because I'm reading what your prophet says and you say to me, he sees the private parts in everything he reads. Well, this is your prophet. Your prophet is the one. He is telling us a story. And I'm reading your prophet's story. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. You see, you are reading Muslim translation, right? What the Muslim translation, they say, they try to be polite. They say, they see private parts. I want you in the chat to translate the word private parts for me. I will give you an example, and you give me, like, one, it means yes, two, it means no. Private parts in Islam mean his ears. What do you think? Because look like Christian Prince, he liked to talk about those things. It's not Muhammad, by the way, this is a Christian Prince. Can you tell us what the private parts of Moses is? Are you there? Anyway, you notice here in the story, how truthful it is that Musa did not even ask how in the world, and even the Jews. Look, look, the Jews, they saw the stone running. But nobody cared really if the stone is running or not. Everybody is looking at the penis of Musa. And must be something. Did you notice? Not, not a single Jew said to themselves like, what the heck? A stone is running? Nobody noticed. Nobody even a question how in the world such a thing happened. But what they were focusing on is the penis of a prophet Moses. It was, I don't know what the word in English, tremendous, tremendous. I don't know, my English is funny, as you know. 